Hello, Gemini. Welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in a connection that you have with a specific person, whoever you're thinking about or connecting with right now. And then we're going to look at how do you feel about each other? What are the energies between you and this person? What do you need to know? So let's jump right in for Gemini. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Gemini regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time, Spirit. What does Gemini need to know about this connection? What do we need to know about the energies between Gemini and this other person? Well, let's start with what's going on between you and this person. What's going on in the connection, Spirit? The High Priestess, well, I feel like whatever's going on, there's a lack of clarity, there's a secretive aspect, maybe you haven't been open with this person or this person has not been open with you regarding how they feel. What's going on in this connection between Gemini? A lot unsaid is what I'm getting here. Yeah, there's um, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, there's an emotional distance between you and this person. I feel like you are not with this person. Um, one of you feels apart from the other or far away from the other. I feel like you want to come back together though with the Six of Pentacles. It's almost like extending a hand out. You know, like I want to, like, like an olive branch. Like, please invite me back in, or I don't want to be out here by myself anymore, or I don't want to feel the way that I'm feeling anymore. Tell me about the High Priestess. Spirit, why is the High Priestess here? The Queen of Wands. So I feel like someone is in the dark about what the other person wants to do or what the other person is. It's almost like maybe you don't know that someone is attracted to you or watching you, or you don't know what someone's actions will be towards you. And the reason you don't know that Gemini is because they're keeping it to themselves. Two of cups is at the bottom of the deck. So I definitely feel like there's a special connection here but it's almost like you don't know that this person is thinking this right now. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? King of Swords. So I feel like someone wants to come in to talk. There hasn't been a lot of communication. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You and this person have not really communicated much. Or there needs to be communication in order to... Um, kind of come out from out of the cold there. Tell me more about the energies in this connection spirit between Gemini and this other person. What is the energy here between Gemini and this other person? What are the energies here between Gemini, this other person? Burden heart. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. So I feel right away that someone is feeling guilt. There's closed off at the bottom of the deck. So definitely I'm speaking to a Gemini where you and this person have not communicated in a while. And this person, without you knowing it, is feeling guilty about something from the past or wants to kind of unburden themselves. They no longer want to be closed off and quiet is kind of what I'm getting here. Let's get an ever after. Um, Gemini, these are my own decks that, I, uh, that I'm using, my Oracle decks. And I do sell them on my Etsy shop if you wanna check them out. They're linked in the description box if you um, need the direct link there to my shop. Spirit, tell me more about what's going on here between Gemini and this other person. What is going on here? between Gemini and this other person. And this kind of makes sense because we have here the Five of Pentacles clarified by the King of Swords. So I feel like someone wants to unburden themselves through communication. And I feel like this is the way that they will find that balance. Okay, so we have Midnight, Divine Timing, Countdown, Soon. 
interesting that um, <laughs> it would not be a Gemini reading without something about timing, right? Especially on my channel. Bottom of the deck, we have hero, bravery, strength, loyalty. I feel like this person will get the courage to talk to you soon. Um, it's only a matter of time, I feel, before this person comes forward. That's kind of what I'm picking up here so far. So let's focus on your energies. I'm going to look at your energy first, and then I'll look at their energies. Um, energy is fluid, so feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me about Gemini. What is Gemini thinking or feeling when it comes to this person? this connection what is gemini thinking or feeling when it comes to this person this connection oh conflicted it's the word that came to mind also i feel gemini like you are literally blindfolded see how she is blindfolded in this card like there's a lot that you don't know i feel like when it comes to this person there's a lot of confusion about you know do, do they care about me? What happened between us? Will it ever get resolved? I feel like you're having these thoughts because there's no communication happening here. Tell me more about Gemini. Some of you, I feel, don't want to let this show. If you are confused or, you know, feeling a bit kind of, conflicted i don't think you you want to, you want that to show ace of wands and the eight of cups yes you're thinking about a departure so this person could have walked away from you or you could have walked away from them and you're still thinking about what happened death at the bottom of the deck scorpio energy there i think that's what's happened is even though this has ended you're still conflicted or unsure undecided about this person maybe you're not able to let them go maybe whatever's happening is just kind of like could there be another new beginning you know but if no one's talking you're almost wondering why am i even thinking about this i also feel like there are a lot of um answers that you're seeking so maybe you didn't get a, enough clarity about whatever went down. Maybe you don't understand someone's actions, someone's decisions. Maybe you're like, I don't know why that happened the way that it did or why so-and-so walked away or why I walked away. Why did I handle it that way? Or why did they handle it that way? Things like that. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. What do we need to know? about this ace of wands the five of wands reverse well i don't have reversals in this deck so i find that very interesting and the page of cups is at the bottom of the deck so i'm instantly thinking let's fix this let's resolve this let's have no more conflict between us apologies i think in your mind if you were to come together talk things out this could restart or this could begin again and let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments, Gemini. I feel like you, for the Gemini that this reading is for, you see a new beginning here, a possible new opportunity with this person. All you have to do is overcome whatever this was. Interesting. Let's get some PS I love yous for you. Tell me more about Gemini's energy. What do we need to know about Gemini? <coughs> Excuse me. What do we need to know, Spirit, about Gemini? What do we need to know about Gemini? Oh my God, that was a lot. I don't have the courage to face you and regretting the past. Excuse me, I have something in my throat. Gemini, I feel like you're both in this boat. You're both feeling this way, but I, I find it interesting that it came out for you, for your energy. Maybe you said something that you wish you could take back, 
maybe you handle things in a way that you're not proud of or you just have a lot of regret over what happened and what was said what was done i think you haven't had the courage to reach out to this person you haven't been able to be the one that reaches out first and this has been an ongoing message for gemini's in the last couple weeks so if this is resonating for you feel free to check out your playlist it's linked in the description box because there are many more readings that this that could also resonate for you because it's been a very similar energy so let's look at this other person spirit tell me about this other person this person that gemini is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about their energies towards gemini what do we need to know about this person's energies towards Gemini? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Gemini? Wow, the Three of Swords. So they're, um, they've been very hurt um, or are hurt by something. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Maybe they're thinking, wow, I really messed things up with Gemini. Two of Cups shows up again. I really messed things up with Gemini. I hurt Gemini or I'm still affected by what happened with Gemini. This person has a lot of doubts over the future. So this is what I mean when I say, I feel like you're mirroring each other. You're both kind of in the same boat in the sense of like, conf you're both conflicted. This person feels that because of what has happened between you, do we have a future together? Would it ever work out? You're both thinking the same thing. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Gemini. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Gemini? The Hermit, perfect. Virgo energy. They're, they're thinking deeply, reflecting on what's happened. And also they're very withdrawn. This is someone that has not reached out either. This is someone that's being very quiet, reflecting on their own keeping whatever they're thinking about to themselves. Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. They're keeping away because of the conflict between you. This, whatever happened between you, Gemini, it was because of an issue. I am not speaking to a Gemini where things ended because one person, you know, it was like, like, a, like, a, like a smooth wrapping up of things. That's not what happened here. Let's see what this person's thinking about. Tell me about the hermit. Spirit, why is the hermit here? Ah, they're holding on to you, but also holding back as well with the four of uh, pentacles. I want to say four of cups there. Can I get one more for the hermit? I think they're keeping their thoughts to themselves. That's why the high priestess is here. Nope. Tell me about the hermit. Why is the Hermit here? The Six of Cups. Oh, yeah, they're thinking about the past. And then there's the Eight of Wands reverse. I don't have reversals in this deck, like I've already said. So I am I think it's fascinating that these reversals are coming out. <laughs> I must have picked up cards before this on the previous reading, and they're coming out like this. But they make perfect sense with what's going on. This is someone that's not reaching out, not communicating, and not taking action with the Eight of Wands reverse. But they're thinking about the past. They feel like the past has a little bit of a hold on them. But you as well. You are both in the same boat. I feel like you're both thinking the same thing. You just don't know it about each other. It's like they're thinking about what happened. You're thinking about what happened. But neither of you know that the other person is thinking about it. And I feel like you're both holding back from communicating, from reaching out. It's like you don't... You don't want to be the first person that does it. And this reading came up, I don't know when, but the title has something about like who will reach out first or who will make the first move. If this is resonating for you, check out that reading. Very similar energies there as well. What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know? Now the hero card did show up, which is about courage. Yeah, look at this. Buried feelings. I mean, yeah. That's exactly the problem. The hero card showed up. So, like I was saying, this is about courage and strength. So, this person could be 
gathering strength or courage so that they are the first ones to reach out. But Gemini, I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't think you should be surprised if they don't reach out. There could be a very good chance that they don't work out that courage because neither of you have the courage to face each other <laughs> at this time for very good reasons. Unfinished business. Yes, you got this card in a recent reading as well. There is unfinished business between you and this person. And they're burying their feelings. They're not sharing with you what they're thinking about or how they feel. I'm surprised that regret hasn't showed up for them. Faded love. Wow. So this is a faded connection. That's why you're both thinking about each other still. Because you're meant to be together. Well, it's starting to make sense why divine timing showed up here with midnight. Burden heart is here. Um, this is a very clear reading. Very clear energy. Um, I mean, it's right here. Buried feelings between you and this person. Unfinished business between you. And the reason that it keeps coming up, this unfinished business, is that you're fated for each other. You're meant to be with this person, Gemini. And that's why you can't let each other go. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't hesitate to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.